Hi there, I'm Justin Lee from BC17 and today I'm going to talk about microbial growth. First thing first, micro needs to consider six things in order for them to live. These six things are also known as phaton. F for food, A for acid, C for time and temperature, O for oxygen, and M for moisture. For this video, I'll be focusing more on the second T, temperature. So, why is temperature listed as one of the factors affecting microbial growth? Well, temperature actually plays a major role in the micro's metabolic process and cell morphology, or in other words, the shape of the cell. This further explains why most bacteria can be destroyed in 70 degrees Celsius and I would die in 150 degrees Celsius for an hour. However, one thing to keep in mind is that you cannot stop microbes from growing by only exposing them to low temperatures. The microbes will only be dormant or inactive in that state. Well, each species of microbes has their own optimal temperature range, which they can grow exceptionally well in. And with that, we can classify them into a few groups, which are psychrophiles, mesophiles, thermophiles, and hyperthermophiles. Now, psychrophiles or cyrophiles, they are the microbes that grow well in lower temperatures starting from negative 10 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius, and they are the ones behind your spot of food in the fridge. Mesophiles, they are the ones that prefer room temperatures which are roughly around 20 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius, and the common optimal temperature for them to grow best in is the average body temperature, which is 37 degrees Celsius. In an additional note, pathogenic or disease-causing microbes are normally these guys. Finally, the last two groups that we have are the thermophiles and the hyperthermophiles. Thermophiles are the group that is capable of thriving in relatively high temperatures that ranges from around 45 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius. However, most of them cannot survive below the 45 degrees Celsius mark. Therefore, you can usually find these guys in hot springs and mud volcanoes. For the hyperthermophiles, they are basically the tougher version of thermophiles that prefers 60 degrees Celsius and above. This group, however, has an optimal temperature of 80 degrees Celsius, which they go best in. And there you have it. These are the effects of temperature on microbial growth and the classification of microbes according to their temperature tolerance. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.